Do you know what to do if your business partner dies? My name is Andrew Ayers. I'm a business law and estate planning attorney who protects people and businesses' legacies through planning. Today we're going to talk about what to do if your business partner dies. Now the first place we're going to look is at your business documents. So hopefully when you started your business, you put together your operating agreement, your shareholder agreement, whatever foundational agreements you need. As part of those agreements, there should be a provision that spells out what happens if one of the owners dies. There's also probably a similar provision as what happens if one of the owners wants to leave the company and you can then buy their ownership interest. Now, the wrinkle to this is if you have a license, if you're an attorney, if you're a doctor, you're an architect or an engineer, your local laws may not allow for that business interest to be transferred to people who don't also have that license. In the past, I've worked on cases involving lawyers who had spouses at the time of their death who attempted to inherit their interest in the business, which is a law firm. In New York, however, non-lawyers cannot own a law firm, so that then created the need to have a process to put a value on that dead lawyer's interest and figure out how to then transfer it to their spouse. So hopefully, you have your foundational agreements in place that will spell out what happens. But it's actually pretty common that you got that business started, you've been growing, things are going great, but you never got around to doing your operational agreements. Or you use some website, mail merge some information in, and didn't realize until now that your agreement doesn't have any provision for what happens when the owner dies. The good news is you can still get this figured out. What you can create is what's called a business succession plan. It's very important and it's a document that lays out what is the future of the business, what happens when an owner dies, what happens when an owner wants to resign or leave the company. It's a process that's set out and usually it will allow for the business to either repurchase that person's shares or somehow distribute their interest. So you can do your succession planning, even if you haven't done it before, now is a good time to do it. And if you use one of those mail merged websites, go back and look at your agreement and make sure it has provisions as to what happens when a business owner dies. And there's going to be two ways you can deal with this issue. One is you can stick your head in the sand and hope you never have to deal with it. Maybe you're in your early 20s, you just started your business and you have a long life ahead of you, but you never know what could come next. So the smarter way is option number two, which is to work with professionals to create a business succession plan. And if you don't have those foundational operating agreements, get those in place as well so that you're not shocked at the process you have to go through if something happens to one of your owners. If you'd like to talk to somebody about the process or creating a plan, you can go to andrewmayers.com and click the Schedule a Consultation button. That will take you to my personal calendar, and we can set up a free legal strategy session to discuss the best options for you and your business. Don't be left out in the cold with no idea of what happens if a business owner dies. Make sure you have a process written down and ready to go in the unfortunate event that it actually happens.